Tina works as a PE teacher at a high school. She uses the curl up to measure the abdominal strength and endurance of her students. When Tina uses Polar Go Fit for iPad, she can easily store the test results and show the correct method of completion. The objective of the curl up is to complete as many curl ups as possible at a set pace. The maximum amount is 75. To perform the test, Tina needs gym mats and measuring strips. Two widths of measuring strip may be needed. The narrower strip is for younger students and the wider one for students age 10 or over. An iPad with Polar Go Fit or pencils and result sheets. A CD player with the test CD can be used to call cadence or this can be done with the iPad. It's a good idea to let the students practice the test a few times using the CD before actually taking it. It's also important to warm up properly before the test. Tina practices curl-ups with her student Anna. Anna lies on her back with her knees bent at a 140 degree angle and legs slightly apart. Anna keeps her arms straight. Then Tina places the measuring strip in the correct position. The nearest edge of the strip just touches Anna's fingertips. Tina starts the test. Anna's fingers should slide across the measuring strip until her fingertips reach the other edge of the strip. Then Anna slowly curls down until her head touches the mat. The heel should stay in contact with the mat and the movement should be slow and continuous. Tina stores the results in Polar Go Fit with her iPad. A form break occurs when Anna's heels are no longer in contact with the mat, when her head does not touch the mat, or when her movements become jerky. A form break also occurs if Anna's fingertips do not touch the other side of the strip or she's not able to keep up the pace. The first time Anna breaks form, Tina signals it to Anna. The second time a form break occurs, the test is complete. In a normal test situation, Tina gets a group of students to choose partners. In each pair, one student watches for form breaks while their partner performs the test. The final score is the total number of curl-ups completed. The first form break is counted as a completed curl-up. Tina uses the Polar Fitness Assessment Solution to store the test results. With internet access, all the data can be safely stored at PolarGoFit, where she and her students can easily study the reports afterwards.